I lost you. Can you hear me now? I hear you now. How are you doing? I'm okay, thank you. So you're okay. an ex-Muslim? Um, do you know what? I've been watching your, um, your videos and okay. it's really opened my eyes. It's opened my eyes and opened my, my ears and what really got me is when I didn't know because I... Can you hear me? I hear you, don't worry. Yeah. Um, I, I was brought up to be a Muslim, but I used to question my parents um, about, my, about the religion. And they always said to me that don't ask too much questions because Allah's not going to like it. Okay. So, and when they when they used to say that, and I used to question my child, like, you know, like um, certain things that I I didn't particularly like, you know, um, from from what I've seen, and um, it just it just it, it just kind of opened my eyes because my father was originally um, he was Hindu, and then he had to um, convert to Islam because they were killing a lot of the 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 Hindus. And because my, my father's from um, from East India, um, so they converted to um, uh, he had to convert to Islam, and it, it's never really sat with me. So um, by listening to your videos, I mean, like obviously, I mean, like what I've noticed that do you know you you did a you did one with uh, what's his name Muhammad, what's his name Muhammad, uh, uh, the one in YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Um, uh, Mimi Hijab, Mimi Hijab. Yeah, that's it. He, um, he. I didn't like the way he um, disrespected you because, like, you were trying to get your point and all he kept doing is muting you. Uh, but I've noticed that, that a lot of the Muslim ones in the UK, they, lo they love to um, debate um, and not actually listen to the questions or the answers. So, and it made me just think, hold a minute, something don't sit with me and like what what the Prophet's done and, you know, and and the women still allow to be treated like that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. So what is the major reason make you leave Islam if, and he is a trashy person? Is that he like he is the real reason you, you know, you thought he is? Because I, I never knew that Muhammad actually married a nine years old girl. Six years old. I mean, sorry, six years old. Yeah. yeah and then, you know, then he, you know, actual, you know, but it's disgusting. Why didn't he, why didn't he uh, um, adopt her, you know, as a, as a child? Like, you know, he was 50, what, something. And uh, why didn't he just adopt her? Yeah. Well, uh, why he wouldn't adopt her? She have a parents anyway. <laughs> I mean, she's not an orphan. I heard, I heard once a Muslim saying, Muhammad, he married her because she was an orphan, but the, this, this earth he forgot that Abu Bakr, he became a Khalifa after Muhammad, he died. Her father, he became a Caliphate. So how, how she is an adult or she is a or orphan? You know, Muslim, they come with false excuses. Uh, but there's way more important things than just uh, uh, marrying a child. Uh, Muslim, they can give it excuse as they wish. But, uh, uh, stupid uh, grammar, even the Arabic is horrible. Uh, fiction stories, flying carpets. Uh, uh, you know, Suleiman, he have a divers who they are genies. They dive to get him diamond. Uh, you know, Suleiman, uh, he have a goat. Uh, they are wives, they call them goat. So the Quran is a messed up book. It's not only reason because he have a wife she is six years old you know this is it's this is misleading. one of many things yeah yeah because and it's also very misleading because it said muhammad had four wives but then if you like cause i tell you something you open my eyes so much like even my partner he's christian and like I, he didn't open my eyes you open my eyes because i watched something from one of these guys who was debating was an islamic guy and somebody mentioned your name so from there i started watching it and even my partner seen it and i never knew that muhammad dirty randy man had had 13 wives and and wow that just wow when when the first time you saw a video of mine 
Okay, so somebody sent a link from some guy in in in, in the UK who's a he converted to Islam. He was an atheist, and then he converted straight to Islam. Uh, he was a white guy. He's converted to Islam, mm. and then um, he was debating. I can't remember what his name is now actually. And um, uh, somebody mentioned uh, your name. Mm. Like a, and I went to the link, and I thought interesting. So I started watching it, and I spent a couple of days watching it. I started watching it since Thursday, um, and I've been watching it. And uh, oh, this I learned a, a lot. It's just a few days ago. A few days ago, but I spent I spent a long time mm. watching your videos, and I watch it every time I get a chance. I listen to your videos. All right. So. Well, I'm happy that yeah. you decide to leave Islam. But uh, do you want? Do you, did you accept? Like, what is your religion now? Do you accept Jesus or what? I accept Jesus. Okay. Is definitely. Yeah, yeah, but you, you mentioned to me something about you have a partner. Yeah, he's Christian. He's Christian. Okay, but you know, as a as a Christian, when you say partner, do you mean a person he lived with you in the house, or just a, a business partner or a boyfriend? No, he's a business partner. He's my boyfriend. Yeah, but as a Christian, you cannot do that. As a Christian, either you marry the man and he marry you, or yeah. you cannot have such a relationship. So we cannot say we become a Christians and instead we are doing and practicing what is not a Christian. You know, because yeah. this is wrong. You know it's wrong. So yeah. if he really, yeah. if he really love you, he will marry you. Let you know. Yeah. If a man yeah, he marry a woman, he will marry her. He will not just uh, sleep with her. Okay. Yeah. So basically, is that I, I'm I'm learning about uh, I'm finding my path. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm learning and, and and like I said, I'm learning from from you. Um, yeah, I understand. You are new. You know, you just you said you accepted Jesus, but this is the right yeah. way to live our life. You know, because uh, uh, when a man, you know, all men agree to sleep with women, all men, you know, mm. but a real man. Is the man who marry you, not the man who agree to sleep with you, the one you like, the one you want to be with. Otherwise, all men, yeah. you know, they are ready right away when they see a woman, she is beautiful, they go with her. Why not? But a real man who really love you, he will seek you mm -hmm. in marriage, not in boyfriend, girlfriend. Boyfriend, girlfriend, there's nothing. It's just a boyfriend. He can take his bag, bye bye. There's nothing, you know, it's just a, yeah. a, a company which is, you know, far away from Christianity. So when I say I become a Christian, I know that I'm coming from different belief and I have some maybe tradition or things which is not right, I used to do. But either I'm a Christian for real or I'm not. Yeah, I saw so it, it might be from... hard on you, I understand. But there's no middle way. Mm. Okay, but that's good because I'm learning from, from you and something that I need to pass on as well. So yeah, Do you read the Bible? Then... Did you start reading the Bible or not? Not. Well, um, like I said, I'm I'm been looking into by just listening to what you right. okay. have been saying. Right. But I I say that. I yeah, well, I, I advise you to read the Bible. In the same time, uh, mm -hmm. you know what I'm telling you. I'm not trying to put you down, like in your relationship. No, no. I'm just giving you advice mm -hmm. that okay. don't waste your life with men who they accept to be with you but not to marry you. Okay. You know. I respect that. Yeah, because yeah. because uh, no, and this is uh, if uh, if we talk about the Bible, this is the only way we can do things in the right way. But okay. I know, I mean, okay. that's your life; it's your choice. Uh, but my advice to you that uh, you know, uh, if if a woman or a man he keep changing women every day, every day, and then what is the what is the what is the end of it? What what's happening? From like hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just be careful, and I advise you to read the Bible, and I'm happy that you decide to leave Islam, but you need to be, uh, you know, firm in your belief and do what your belief says to you. We cannot say, I accept yeah. Jesus, but I don't want to follow the teaching of Jesus. Yeah. Otherwise, I did not accept anything. I have to follow in order to be considered accepted. Yes. You know, Jesus is not an icon, as a picture, we follow the picture. No. He is a teaching, he is the word, he is uh, uh, the wisdom. So whatever he said, either we agree with it or we don't. If we don't, then we are not Christians. Okay. All right? Okay, I'll read the Bible and All right. so I can understand it more. Well, thank you for calling uh, and uh, I pray for you that you will study more and learn more and uh, yeah. be, be, you know, uh, be happy in your life in the future.
Thank you for your advice. All right. And I will take it. All right. Take care. Thank you. God bless you. Bye now.